Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an at-home pedicure and a DIY foot soak so you can pamper yourself at home and obtain salon results. Maybe even save some money on future pedicures. If you want to see this, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with the Sally Hansen Salon Mineral Foot Soak. I'm now going to do put some Epsom salt in my basin, about a cup full. I'm now going to do two cupfuls of the foot soak into my basin. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the Sally Hansen foot soak because I wanted it a little more bubbly. I am now going to start removing my nail polish and I'm using the nail polish remover by Up and Up and it's the acetone one. I'm using acetone, a blue type of nail polish and it's very glittery and shimmery so I need a heavy duty acetone remover. So to remove your nail polish, I like to do this before I soak my feet so when I soak my feet it can wash away the acetone. Now I'm going to just soak my feet for about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe no more than 30. And I'm going to hang out with my puppy Angel. She is going to chill out with me. And make sure that you do put a towel underneath your basin because I did spill some water and you don't want to cause any damage to your carpets or floor. So the towel will be a preventative step. I'm now just going to soak and watch some YouTube videos, catch up on some reading, um, but mostly watch some YouTube videos as I'm obsessed with YouTube. So my feet are very swollen and I was having a lot of pain from my sickle cell disease in my ankles. They were swollen and um, I was just massaging in this part. So now I'm just massaging my ankles and the sides of my feet, the tops of my feet because I was in a lot of pain. So I'm hoping, so I would be that some salt soak would help. I'm now going to take my pumice stone and start buffing away any dead skin. The pumice stone is awesome to remove all of your dead skin and if you do have any um, cracks, it really will buff away all of your dead skin. I take it on the heels. I really focus on my heels, the sides of my feet, underneath my toes, above, and all of those places. I am obsessed with pumice stones. I feel I at least do that do them once a week so my feet can be ready for sandal season. And just keep buffing until you have the desired effect. Now I'm just going to soak them really quickly back into the soak to get soaked up and rinse away any dead skin. I'm going to take this exfoliating towel. This is like the exfoliating glove, but instead this is a towel form. And I'm going to go ahead and take this on the tops of my feet, on my ankle, and in between my toes, anywhere I find it difficult to get in with a pumice stone. Unfortunately, with a pumice stone, it is too harsh to go on top of your feet or on your ankle because that skin is more delicate than the bottom of your feet. So I go ahead and take this towel, exfoliating towel, and scrub away any dead skin. If you do not have an exfoliating towel, you can go ahead and do your own scrub or use any scrubs you may have at home. You can take coconut oil or olive oil and mix a little bit of brown sugar and you can do it that way and it'll re still remove some dead skin. But overall I prefer using a more abrasive um, type of um, scrubber because I really do get dead skin. I'm now going to just towel dry the tops of my feet or the entire feet I mean.
And now I'm gonna take the Sally Hansen um, Visible Effect Foot Cream, and this is amazing foot cream. And I apply that to the heels and to the entire foot. This is an amazing foot cream. It's very, very moisturizing, and I do this immediately after I get out of the soap because my feet are nicely moisturized from all the minerals we just put in our soak. So this is going to be your skin will be more prone to absorbing the lotion as opposed to when it's more drier. So the lotion will seep in nicely to your skin. I'm now going to take the Nutra Nail Olive Oil Nail and Cuticle Treat to the entire nail bed and to my cuticles. And I love this product because sometimes my cuticles and my nails do get very very dry and I need to moisturize them. So the more they are the less prone they are to breakage. So I like to let that sit for anywhere no more than five minutes because I get very impatient quite quickly. <laughs> so I let that sit in for a minute or two. And now I'm going to just start gently massaging that into my nail bed. And I like to get some of that into the surrounding skin of the nail bed because it'll moisturize since it is an olive oil based cuticle treatment. Your feet will be nicely moisturized and the skin and the nails. So just keep massaging that in and buffing that in. I'm now going to start taking this cotton ball and I'm going to use this as a natural buffer and it's going to buff the tops of your nails quite nicely and absorb any remaining excess oil. I love to do this because it really buffs in even better than using your own hand. I feel like it massages it a little more better than my natural hand. I am now going to take an alcohol swab and start prepping my nails so I can apply nail polish. When you, Since we did put, apply the cuticle oil, it's going to be too, leaving a residue behind and we need to prep the nail so the nail polish can adhere. If you put oil and apply the nail polish, it's not going to adhere or dry. It's going to mess up your polish. So I take that alcohol swab and wipe my nails down. I'm now going to take an old calendar and use this as my workspace and then I'm going to take the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nails in Cherry Red and apply two coats of this gorgeous color. Now I absolutely love this color. It's very pigmented. I can get away with using one or two coat, one coat I mean, but I like to do two coats so I can get the added effect. So if you do have some fakes, I go in with a Q-tip and some nail polish remover and just go in and fix my mistakes. I, in this video, I forgot to show my clip of me adding my top coat. Somehow it, the clip was erased or something happened. But the top coat I did use was the Seshvi top, top coat and it's a fast drying top coat that gives excellent results and it's super glossy. It looks like you went to the salon and had your nails professionally done. So I recommend you picking up that top coat. It's amazing. So just finish up your nails and applying your two coats and you should be good to go. After your top coat, I apply one coat of the top coat as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this at home pedicure and DIY. Please like, comment, or subscribe. And check out my Facebook and Instagram page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.